Hello, this is Gina German with J German Friends and Fitness and I'm coming to you late in the evening from my kitchen. So I have a little confession for you. Um, I am a bit of a carboholic, um, working on uh, eliminating a lot of the carbs that I eat and just eating um, what my meal plan tells me to eat. Um, you know, using my handy dandy portion control container system. Won't get into that now, but um, you know, if I'm going to eat a carb, it's got to fit into this container or be on the list. Um, and I only get, on my meal plan currently, I only get two of those a day. So, um, anyways, I am in the kitchen <laughs> and decided to make some quinoa. So I have some quinoa for breakfast or lunch or supper, whatever we decide to use it for. Um, I really like having quinoa as one of my carbs because um, it is versatile. Um, I can eat it at any meal with a lot of different things and it's been really fun to play with. So um, here is what I, I'm using currently. Um, you can actually buy quinoa at uh, most stores and I'm sure this is backwards because it's Facebook Live. But um, this is organic quinoa, um, USDA organic, Kirkland, so it's from Costco. I don't have a Costco in my town, but I have a nice family that takes me there when I visit. Um, so I did a little research on um, quinoa so I could share with you. And um, quinoa is actually a grain crop, and it's grown for its seeds, but it's not actually a grain. It's eaten like one, and it counts like one. So a little bit confusing. Um, there are three kinds. There's white black and red and some interesting things about quinoa is that um, it's non-gmo it is gluten-free it's excellent um, source of plant-based protein so if you're a vegan a vegetarian or gluten-free uh, this is a great choice for you it does contain all essen essential amino acids it is high in insoluble fibers which isn't as good as being high in soluble fibers but um, the other benefits um, you know, outweigh that fact. It's great for weight loss um, as it helps you work on your metabolism. It's high in antioxidants. Um, it's good for controlling blood sugar. And so those things, you know, all play a part in your, um, in your metabolism and can, as I said, aid in weight loss. Um, it's also high in magnesium, iron, potassium, and zinc, which are all good for women. So how do I make this quinoa and how hard is it? Well, you'd think it would take forever, but actually I folded a basket of laundry while, while it cooked. Um, I'm not doing a live cooking because I don't want this to be 15 minutes, so it's already cooked. Um, it, the bag always says to rinse, and I never had been rinsing because I kind of felt it was a pain. But um, the rinsing gets rid of the saponins. It's S-A-P-O-N-I-N-S, -N and I know I slaughtered it likely. Um, and that's just something that um, can make it taste bitter. So they recommend that you rinse it before you cook it. Hey Hannah, thanks for joining. Um, by soaking you can uh, make the minerals more bioavailable. So I've never actually soaked it, but it, from what I read it sounded like if you soaked it a little while longer it would kind of sprout. So then that would help uh, the minerals come out as well. So and then as I, as I did state, um, the benefits are metabolic health because of, of the high um, amount of antioxidants in the quinoa. So what I did, well I didn't rinse it like you're supposed to, but you know I'm kind of a badass like that. I like to follow the rules but you know maybe live on the edge a little bit. So I took one cup of quinoa, put it in my pan this big with two cups of water. I brought it to a rolling boil, well not really a that's a lie. I brought it to a boil, a slow boil, so it was like 10 minutes probably, stirring it occasionally. And then once it was boiling, I put the lid on and um, shut the heat off. And I let it sit probably 5 to 10 more minutes. And um, it comes out this nice fluffy consistency. It's kind of like an oatmeal. And it's, it's got a nice smell to it. Um, you know, if you wanted, if you didn't like the taste, you could uh, put a little vegetable broth in there. Um, I've read or seen of people um, using beef bouillon um, for some flavoring. But as I said, you know, it's really good for any meal. So if you're having steak and you're having steak and 
don't want to have the potatoes, but you got your steak and vegetables, you have the, the quinoa. So mix your vegetables with the quinoa. Um, you know, throw some peppers in with it. It's really great with that. Um, for lunch, I like to put it on my um, salad. Sometimes I'll heat it up for 10, 15 seconds and toss it in on my salad. Of course, just this much, just my one container full because um, really trying to work on the portion control and the overeating of the carbs. It's a major problem of mine, as I said. Um, and then for breakfast, this is where I've really been trying to utilize this in my house um, because I'm tired of the sugary cereals. And, um, you know, been really watching the kind that we buy, but I've been playing around with the quinoa. So um, in the morning, my plan is to make two different things. I'm going to make um, a breakfast bowl with eggs and um, salsa. And then um, I'm going to make another new one of my favorites because Mike hasn't tried it and he wants to. Um, so a container of quinoa with uh, a teaspoon of almond butter and then strawberries. And actually, I got a really good deal on some strawberries, so I prepped them all um, and stuck them in the freezer. So I'll lay one out for him now. Um, that way in the morning they're thawed and then um, just warm the quinoa up with the almond butter, stir it together so it's nice and, and melty and then I add the strawberries on and it's really, really great. So if you have any um, things that you like to do with quinoa, any good recipe, not necessarily recipes, but just quick little things that you do or if you do have a great recipe, um, feel free to put it um, underneath this or in the comments below this Facebook Live. And um, I will add some details as well to this, um, where I got the information about the quinoa, where I did my research. And uh, I look forward to doing a few more of these uh, uh, educational, what Gina has learned type of videos uh, for you all, because I'm definitely not perfect. And, uh, you know, with summer coming, it's always really, really good to have different options to try and why not right so anyway it is quarter to 11 it's very late so I need to get going and you need to get going and I will see you next time thanks for stopping by